Paper folding problems are always fun and uh, this particular one came in ISI entrance 2019 uh, and the link in the description will take you to another problem another similar problem uh, which is from a math olympiad and I strongly suggest that you try that problem before looking into this one okay all right so what is this problem that we have uh, from the ISI entrance well we start with uh, an equilateral triangle let's call it a b and c a b c and o is the circumcenter of this equilateral triangle so mm, just one brief comment about it this is something that you can use as a hint that uh, to find the circumcenter it's the same as the centroid because the triangle is equilateral uh, and that can be a big hint to solving this problem so let's look at the given data so that you can give it a try we have ABC is equilateral and we have O as the center which is the circumcenter but can also be the centroid the same thing since the triangle is equilateral and um, what we want to do is we want to fold A, B and C in such a manner that A falls on O, B falls on O and C falls on O. And whatever the picture or the resultant picture is, whatever the resultant picture is, we want to find out the area of that. Oh, it's also given that the perimeter of this equilateral triangle is 9 so perimeter is given to be 9 of this triangle and what is the goal again let me maybe you can write the goal a little bit so that you can give it a try pausing this video and you're strongly suggested to try it first so the goal find the area after the folding and how is it folded as I mentioned A goes to O B goes to O and C goes to O it's actually not a very hard problem now uh, assuming that you have tried this problem on your own I'll go ahead and give you a clue so that you can actually try it one more time uh, the clue is when you are folding this usually means find the midpoint I mean it's a very crude way of saying it and I'll tell you exactly what it means in this context but usually folding means it's it's getting reflected in some sense reflected so uh, what does it mean in this picture well let's join BO Let's join BO. Uh, in fact, if we produce BO, let's delete this little arrow part. Okay. If we if we produce BO, it hits the midpoint of AC. Let's call that point D. All right. Now we know that the triangle is uh, three 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 equilateral so this little part is 3 by 2 and you can easily check that this part the perpendicular and that's because the triangle is equilateral this perpendicular is 3 square root of 3 over 2 the length of the perpendicular and so it's a very easy application of Pythagoras theorem on this triangle so apply Pythagoras theorem on triangle BDC maybe I can write that apply Pythagoras on triangle BDC and conclude that BD is 3 square root of 3 over 2 alright all that's good 
Now we are trying to fold this B so that it falls on O. How do you do that? Okay. Uh, so what essentially you have to do is find the midpoint. Maybe I can just draw this. The midpoint M of BO and that's and draw a perpendicular draw a perpendicular to BO at the point M. Now you see what I'm saying, right? I mean BM folds to MO and that ex and that makes B exactly fall on O. Why? Because this is the this M breaks BO into exactly two equal parts. So a little bit of imagination will be necessary. So you in your final picture after you have folded uh, maybe I can just use a little bit of color this part will be there and uh, again this part will be there but this little part right here will be vanished right because you have folded it and it sort of will fall on O and this little part will be vanished and similarly here everything here will be vanished similarly here everything in this portion will be vanished and you will be uh, you will get a hexagon in some sense and uh, what we will do is we will find the area of this vanished portion and then by symmetry all of these vanished pieces all of these vanished pieces will be of equal area and then obviously delete this vanished pieces from the main area that's the idea so if the if each vanished piece is of area delta then from the area of triangle ABC delete 3 delta right so delta is this delta is the area of one white piece right okay now you can just pause the video here and give it a try it's not very hard anymore um, okay so this point is the midpoint of BO and remember O is also the centroid is the centroid because as the triangle is equilateral the centroid the orthocenter and the circumcenter all are coinciding okay now we will use now a result from geometry that centroid divides median median in 2 is to 1 ratio so this BO is two parts and this OD is one part we know that BD is 3 root 3 by 2 we computed that and then uh, this 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 BD BO is two-third of that but M is the midpoint of BO right M is the midpoint of the BO so BM is exactly one-third of BD this is one-third this was two-third you break it into two parts each is one-third right okay so BM so BM is exactly square root of 3 by 2 excellent now you can go to the link in the description to finish off this problem on your own uh, we put more hints there we don't want you to give the entire solution because that's kind of that will ruin the entire story um, okay maybe one more hint uh, the other hint is this triangle that we this white triangle is similar to this big BAC triangle and we already know that this perpendicular is one-third of this perpendicular so clearly by similarity of triangles this little portion is one third of this one so it's exactly one 
Okay, so now you should be able to finish this off because this is an equilateral triangle by similarity. It's white one. Each side length is one. And uh, and the height is square root of three by two. We know that. This is the height. So you know the area of this white piece. Now multiply that by three and delete it from the triangle ABC's area. I'll give you the final answer so that you can test it on your own. So the final answer is 3 square root of 2, uh, square root of 3 over 2. This is the area of the folded piece, paper. I mean the hexagon, okay, after you have deleted all the triangles. So give it a try and the link in the description will uh, take you to another problem that's very similar to this one and also other tutorial questions so that you can actually try this problem and learn something from, the, from it. I will come back to the in the next video. Keep solving great problems. Take care.